take one. Mark. Peak performance is basically just a bunch of small things done well and stacked up on top of each other. Doing things when people don't always want to do it. In swimming, if you take one day off, it takes two days to get back to where you were, right? So we went six straight years without taking a single day off. Peak performance is different for every person. What's peak for Michael Phelps is not going to be the same peak for Justin Thomas. When I had that extra advantage over the rest of my competition. When you're already better than everybody else, but you're also willing to do more than everybody else, then it all of a sudden becomes nobody can touch you. But if you can just lock in mentally, emotionally, physically, that could be the deciding factor of a first place and a second place, or a gold medal and a silver medal. You're better than that, man. I know you are. <laughs> Good to see you. How's the golf game? It's better. Yeah? I've re-caught the bug again, and yeah. the things that I'm doing in the gym now are now related to golf, so. Oh, we got some golf-specific training. Yes. Like, what was the biggest adjustment you had to make? I'm naturally, like, a, a Gumby. I was going to say, like, are you almost too flexible? Yeah, like, it helps me in the sport of swimming, but maybe not here. All right, well. You've come to one of my areas in Nashville here at Troubadour. I'm never going to get in a pool with you, but let's at least go into my comfort zone and do some putting. I used to have the world record for the longest putt in televised history. Yeah. That was one of my most proud world records. Let's Take go a putt. long putt then. We'll right. go close to the hole. All right, this ain't going in the hole. I got news for you. Good to see the confidence on the first putt. This should be a good first putt of the day. <laughs> Why did I do this? <laughs> Trundle. I kind of like that one. To get inside of that one's gonna be difficult. It's pretty nice there. Not enough though. You hammered yours, not even hit it, it close to it. It's like, too long. maybe you should drive. <laughs> I really fell in love with this game over the last three years, because I was playing a ton. I think I played 100 rounds last year. <laughs> my index is a 12, and now it's a seven. I'm in the process of putting a simulator in my house. So. Oh boy, <laughs> we're there. <laughs> we, yeah, we're, we're past obsessed. With each different club, how many swings do you have? That's the, that's the thing that I always get fascinated about. I'm way more feel than I am like a clock system. Yep. So it's like, I mean, I know I have a stock, I have a max. I know if I draw it, it adds three, four yards. You have the feel of, yeah, I need to put this with this wind. Like, I don't know what that little fire pit is, but like, I have a general idea of like, the swing I need to make with this club to get it to go around that far. All right, let's see if one of us can hit this tractor. Uh-oh, got action. Oh, I relate to swimming because we're dealing in hundreds of a second, right? Like, if you're off yeah. by that much, the ball is going to go so many different ways. Yeah. It makes me focus, which is challenging. There we go. The thing Michael has is just the athletic ability and, more importantly, the competitive side to just not be OK with being average or mediocre mm -hmm. at something. Throughout my career, I went through sleeping in a hyperbaric chamber that tracks my deep REM, everything that right, whoop, yeah. whoop does. And now we have access to this that gives you anything and everything your body needs to mm -hmm. perform at its best. You know, Rory's who told me about it, and being a competitive person, I legitimately felt like he had a, an advantage on me. Well, I, I didn't like that. So yeah. here we are three years later, and I wear it every day. I wanted to mess around with just some basically lifestyle things. Just what day-to-day -day life habits can I change or do that is going to help me feel better and recover better? Last night I had eight, eight hours, six minutes of sleep. Had 312 of REM. Eight hours and two minutes. Oh, I got you about four. It's little things like that that I've picked up on and tried to use, but I'm going to pick your brain to find some more today. You know, say you just won a gold medal the first night. Just coming off that high, I'm like, I know I need yeah. eight hours of sleep. How can I guarantee I'm going to get it? I used to always watch a movie. Yeah. I was, I was that guy. Miracle. Great movie. I watched that one before I ate. Hoosiers, another good one. It's a big, big inspirational movie. Hell guy. yeah. 
So where do you take this? All right, just a little cut off of that left bunker. It's a treat for me to be able to be out there and to watch your preparation and watch your routine. You know, whether it's me watching you behind the ball or your putting stroke or chipping stroke, whatever it might be, like, I'm a visual person, so I always love taking little small things and trying to implement it in what I do. Should be perfect, yeah. Take a little right, too. You've obviously been to the Phoenix Open so many times. He won that one year, didn't you? I won it back to back years. Back to back years, yep. so it's yep. clearly not that bad. You, <laughs> you, you can perform at the big moments in a different sport, too, apparently. I like those big moments, though. Put me, put a spotlight or put me on the, in, in front of numbers from people, then I'm, I'm easy to be able just to, to put the blinders on, right? Yeah. Like, focus on what you're there trying to do. Yeah. The only thing I hate about the 16th hole is like, you're so amped up. All I want to do is just hit a driver as hard as I possibly <laughs> can. Like, if it was 18, I feel like, you know, I'd be kind of embracing the 150 heart rate, but it's like, trying it's, it I, I'm pews. trying to like hit this little finessed eight or nine iron and like, I'm so amped up, so. Like, I, I always love seeing the heart rates of y'all, you know, throughout the round. Like, yeah. cause it's like, I'm always fascinated how you get back down to that neutral level. So generally, like in my routine, you know, I kind of go through my two practice swings, I'll get back here. But I just try to elongate that breath as much as I can. And then kind of as I'm exhaling, I'm going into it. And then by the time I get over it, my body and everything should kind of get out of that fight or flight a little bit. You're basically just paying attention to that one breath. Yeah. Right? Like that's literally all it is, mm -hmm. right? Like you know how to find the center of the face. Mm -hmm. right? Like, I, I can't say I do all the time. <laughs> but it's, you know, like, you know how to make a good golf swing. It's, yeah, you're looking forward whether it's something like, all right, yeah, I'm, I'm 400 through seven. I should shoot eight or 900 today. Like, no problem. If I can sprinkle in a couple more, that's 61. Then it's just like bogey, double, mm -hmm. bam. Yeah. And then you're next like, thing oh, you huh? know, it's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> all right, back to reality. And it's, I think personally, that's a huge separating factor of the good and the great is yeah. who can stay in the moment and, not look forward, not look backward, be where your feet are, and just like you said when you were swimming, just put the blinders on and go. Break! Oof. I think you would agree off weeks are a pretty general term because it's not really off. It's just uh, less on, I guess. Maintenance, yeah. Now on the tee, the reigning PGA champion, Justin Thomas. Now it's time to be ready for the FedEx Cup playoffs, but I would like to think that everything I've done this entire season is also getting ready for the FedEx Cup playoffs. Like, Michael didn't go into the Olympics like that year or that month prior saying, all right, now it's time to get ready for the Olympics. Like, he started doing that when he was 13, 14 years old, dreaming of something as a kid. Before I could even dream of winning a gold medal, I was afraid to swim, afraid to get my face wet. Before I got to where I was or who I became, like, I had to be really terrible at something. I had to learn the ins and outs of the sports and learn about myself, but then to sharpen those tools up even more throughout the process. In my opinion, like, I felt like I had that little extra edge than others because I had that, that feel that couldn't be taught or given. It's just about the, that little 1%, that just getting a little bit better on the days you don't want to. There's nothing in my competitive career that has been better than swimming for my country. Now being retired, I'll say that's the one thing I miss the most, not being able to strap up and wear the stars and stripes. Yeah, I've competed in the President's Cup and Ryder Cup. Like, it's so fun and competing for your country. Even just as a fan watching y'all play Ryder Cup, President's yeah. Cup, like, I'm in my red, white, and blue, yeah. like, yeah. I'm going crazy. Every first tee when they yep. would say, you know, representing the United States, and Justin and the Thomas roars. and Jordan Spieth. Yep. Representing the United States, Justin Thomas. Representing the yep. United States, it mm -hmm. just was like the thing that just made all the hair <laughs> on your arms and neck stand there up. Come the and adrenaline. Just <laughs> never gets old. Oh. What we got here, 170, a little help. Or a little chippy eight. All right, it's dancing. Oh, it's a good leave. Should be pretty slow up there. Ooh, good line. Dive. Mm. A little softer, maybe. Good tree. Thank you. In like a tournament week, do you often find that you're in the green? 
and I'm a good REM sleeper. Oh, nice. uh, I get a, get a pretty good amount of that, I guess, compared to your average person. So it's like your superhuman trait. Yeah, like the week of the PGA, I know I slept, slept really well on the weekend. Saturday, the PGA, it was a bad day to say the least. I ended up bogey in 18 to go seven back going into the final round. I was furious and kind of needed to get a little bit of, of fumes out and anger out and went to the range with my dad and Bones. By the time I get home, haven't eaten dinner. I definitely don't want to take an ice bath. I, I just want to, I want to eat, go to sleep, but I just know that if I don't, how I'm going to feel the next day. I know my legs are going to be fatigued. It's the, it's the end of a huge week. And it was just something I'm like, all right, just do this, whatever. Go through my routine, that, bed, go to sleep, wake up the next day feeling a lot better to where I feel like, you know, maybe on that back nine when I could have crashed from losing my legs a little bit. You know, I went through enough of that recovery type sleep to almost start fresh the next day. Like everything that happened yesterday never even happened mm -hmm. kind of thing. Was that the reason? Who knows? But uh, I would like to think it had somewhat of a factor in there. I think it did 100%. And I mean, I just say that just from understanding swimming 18 races over an eight day span, every little bit does matter. Mm, nice swing there. Thanks. When you were in your races, what is your mindset if you need to maybe take it to another level or if you're just trying to finish it off? I'm just trying to get into my rhythm. Sometimes I'm counting strokes because I know when I'm swimming well and being efficient, I know exactly how, how many, many strokes, yeah. but coming off the last wall, if I'm in a race, I either can feel the water splashing on me. Hopefully you can feel it like splashing on your feet. Hopefully. Somewhere. <laughs> or I'm looking peripherally yeah. just to know. Yeah. The races that stick out the most are the ones that didn't go as planned because those are the ones I learned the most from. When I did get second place, I could have done something better in my preparation than what I did, and I deserved to get second. Whether that's me missing a turn or taking a breath off the wall. Like, those two things have cost me a gold medal. My proudest wins are wins when I didn't have my best stuff. Yeah, the Sony Open in 17 was great, you know, shooting 59, 72 hole scoring record. Like, I was unconscious for a week. Like, it was, it was easy, but one of my favorite wins that I have was in Korea, 2017, the CJ Cup. I was exhausted, and that was just like, how how did I do it kind of thing. And I'm sure, you know, you've had those scenarios oh, yes. where you just got to try to find a way to... 2008. To do it. Well, brother. Enjoyed it, dude. Yeah, a lot of fun. Till next time. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, we'll make some more putts, too. Yeah. In 90 minutes, I was at 10.2. Um, Is that good? 5.5, that's <laughs> nice. He got 10 point, I got 10.2 and JT got 5.5. <laughs> there's, there's a difference between us two, I guess. Yeah, I guarantee if JT got in the swimming pool with me. We, would... we wouldn't have to read the strain because I'd be dead, so. <laughs> we got lifeguards on hand, yeah. we'd be good. <laughs> We started in your domain, <laughs> so I guess welcome to a place where I spent a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get it. In order to be able to do something great, you have to do things that people aren't willing to do. When I go back throughout my career, everything was done with a purpose. My whole career was spent underwater, so that's where my comfort was. So now trying to take this to a golf course where I'm trying to feel all four corners of my feet. I have to be engaged here. Every single day I'm in the zone, I'm psycho when I come in here. Yeah. Because I know this is going to help me. Bring this elbow in a touch. I was very happy that you took it easy on me. I thought we were gonna go in there and you were just gonna try to totally embarrass me. But I, I do appreciate from one uh, athlete to a golfer, that's gonna help with the, the golfer athlete rep that we have. All of my stuff now is based around golf. Now I'm trying to, I guess, make those muscles a lot bigger because I, I didn't have to use some of those muscles when I was swimming. So yeah. it's teaching myself different motions, different movements. It's cool to me because Michael being as involved and interested in learning golf as he is now and wanting to get so much better at it and perfect it that he's going through a lot of the, the stuff that I went through, just obviously at an extreme different level. You're not going into the gym and doing the same workouts you did yep. when you are training for Olympics yep. versus you are for golf. I can turn and have that ability to go yes. beyond 
but it's finding that balance. It's a lot of getting T-spine moving, glutes and hips and lower back. And for me, you know, I'll sometimes get a little tightness in my shoulders, which for me is huge and getting it in a good spot at the top of my swing. So kind of getting, you know, that rotation. You can see it's resisting you. Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. yeah. We're both working on core, on our flexibility. This is actually one of the things I actually have in my warm up is I'll get it in a good spot. And my tendency in my swing is once I get to here, I'll get going this way. And that's when I get across and get underneath. So like, I'm trying to get it here, keeping this tucked yeah, so it's and in this spot, just, you know, muscle memory, trying to get it in a spot where I'm used that's to. That's like keeping your shoulder blade stable, right? Yeah. My trainer and I, we do a lot of resisting. Things going the opposite way of I'm going. Every day isn't gonna feel like a million bucks, right? You're gonna wake up and roll out of bed and some days you're gonna wanna hit snooze and roll back over. But if you want that goal that's all the way on the other side of the room, you gotta start by getting out of bed that day. It's all really good. See, so two different athletes, right? From two different sports. Very and similar bodies, you know, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> well, I don't know why everyone's laughing so hard. <laughs> What I do isn't gonna be the same thing that Jordan Spieth does, or right. Ricky Fowler, or Patrick Cantlay. Everybody has their way that, and their bodies are all different, as you know. We're just figuring out what needs, what, what we need for us to be what we're trying to be, whether mm -hmm. that's a retired athlete or one of the best golfers in the world. It's been fun for me to see these kind of numbers because then I can go, based off of how I feel, to know if I'm going to need to step on the gas and give it a full go, or if I need to take a step back and have a recovery day. The dashboard, it's everything I need, right? It's right in front of your face. I'm like, cool, check, check, check. All right, let's go. Now that's a stat today. I was exhausted from a long day at the tournament yesterday. I'm pretty shocked that it's 64% recovery. At the end of the day, there's a thousand things that we can't control. But how do we be our best selves? Yeah. Recovery, sleeping, yeah. this, that, and the other. And if you do that right, then over time, everything's going to take care of itself. His heart rate levels are very different and lower than mine when it comes to sleeping. Last night was 55, but it's typically low 40s. Yeah, see, I, I think I've maybe been in the 40s like once or twice. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm around 60. What's your HRV, though? I mean, 50, 60. Average activity strain. Mine is 8.4. Is yours? 10.0. Just like he's going to be trying harder than me on the golf course, like I'm going to be trying a lot harder than him in a gym or any kind of physical activity. The ice bath definitely helps with the good recoveries. It's a big advantage for any athlete, but it is for just any person. It's looking out for the best interest in themselves to better their performance. You know, just being able to pick up on little things with uh, wearing a whoop. Having these last couple of weeks off, pretty much trained every single day for two weeks in a row, yep. but I'm just trying to get everything in a good spot to kind of keep that stamina up. Ice tub. Uh, yeah, I love ice baths. Oh, they're the best. I feel the best form of recovery, although it doesn't look good when you're looking at it, is an ice bath. It came, out, it came out a little faster than I thought. I guess I'll just fill the rest of mine. Yeah, yeah, let's just go. <laughs> let's go in here. Cheers. Let's do it. What do you think this is? 50 something? High 50s? I would say mid. Mid? 50, yeah. two, three, four, somewhere in there. I'm kind of like a human thermometer. I spent a lot I'm of time not, in so water. I'd, I'd so. take his word on that one. I want to be the best version of myself every single day. To be able to do that, I have to be taking care of myself because if my glass is half full, I'm not able to be the best person that I can be. If you're doing the training and working out and, and everything else, but you're not willing to take the time and effort to get back to square one or get to a good equilibrium, that's when you go down a rabbit hole that ends up leading to more negativity than positive and your own well-being. I always said like if our body is a Ferrari, we're asking it to, to perform at the highest speed every single day. If you're putting unleaded in there, is that gonna run? No, right? So if our body is that unbelievable machine, then we have to sleep, we have to recover, we have to do all of these things to allow ourselves the chance and the opportunity to perform at the highest level. I'm sure you have times where you're 
so tired and exhausted from practice. You don't want to eat. All you want to do is like curl up in bed and yeah. go to sleep. And you're like, well, you know, if you don't do X, Y, or Z, then the chance of you being able to turn that car and go full speed tomorrow mm -hmm. is almost zero. No doubt. I know for me to feel better the next day, I need to do what I do every night and have a nice bath, especially during tournaments. And it's almost a nice getaway. You know, you're by yourself. You're just there with your thoughts and everything goes numb and then you get out. I, I used to live such a regimented life. Now it's trying to figure out what works for me. Yeah. I'm not trying to become 23 time Olympic gold medalist right yeah. now, right? I'm trying to become the best dad, the best husband, the hardest worker, the best me that I can be. All this story is about me eating 10,000 calories. Yeah, it's real, but it was a job. Mm -hmm. You're swimming 100,000 meters a week. Recovery is the only way. Yeah. If you want a chance to be the best and you're not recovering, then you're selling yourself short, period. It really is just making the best out of the situation and scenario that you're given. My career, in my mind, is a long way from over, and I would like to think and hope I have not reached my peak in golf, but it's something that you're always working and striving for until that time is finally done. One down. Yeah, it's cold. It's going to be cold down there. I'm trying to figure out how I can use the body that I have on the golf course the best way I possibly can. It's cool still being able to do some of the same things, but have a different style of workout. Um, you know, I'm not swimming 100,000 meters a week anymore. And uh, I'm not either, so it's good, man. I hear you. done my sport we were in your comfort zone so let's go in here no 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 we're, we're staying away from the pool it's your no. size pool though no <laughs> okay even no, you can swim in that no one no kitty pool jokes <laughs> we could do something that we're both probably not very good at and out of both of our comfort zones i don't know how much cornhole not much you play let's see what i can do should be in my uh for my tailgating days at alabama get in there uh oh, uh oh. No! Oh, no! <laughs> Bingo. I knew that was gonna happen too, I really did. That was a very fitting ending of you talking about how you can rise to the moment. We get it, you're good <laughs> with the sports and all that stuff, but that was a lot of fun today, dude. Cool. Enjoyed Thanks, hanging. Sure. Yeah, Go man. get him. You got it.